Morning, sir. You like you got good taste in music. Hey, Sonny, did you see that letter from the college? I can't believe they want you to make a donation already. Yeah, I guess they forgot about all the money you and Mom paid them for four years. <laughs> Shit, I'll be paying that back until I'm lying in the grave next to your mama. When was the last time you spoke to Mr. Peretti? Didn't he promise to hook you up with a little internship or something? Yeah, little. And I'll call him back when you call Blue Cross about those bills.
Sonny. Is that you? Hey. Hey, buddy. Didn't think I'd run into you here. Yeah, small world, right? Kyle, this is Sonny. We graduated together, right? Oh, you went to performing arts too? So this mixtape's probably sick. Oh yeah, yeah. Sonny was, uh, Sonny was tough. Now that I'm thinking, no, you, you didn't make it to graduation, did you? I had my mom's funeral that week. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry about that, man. But did you even get the degree? Yeah, hey, I mean, dropouts can be cool. I mean, look at look at Soldier Boy, right? Soldier Boy, really? That that's the best you got? Well, it was nice meeting you, Kyle. But I gotta get to Hold up, hold up. You haven't even told us about uh, uh, blues infused. It's interesting. Look, knowing you, I know it's dope. But speaking of music, you should totally come to New York Weekend Poets Cafe. It's gonna be fucking dope. I'll be reading some of my poems. I'm gonna have a few bars to perform. Sounds dope. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. You headed up? Did you find time to send out those applications? Didn't we talk about this already? Yeah, we also talked about getting some money in your pocket. Give Mr. Freddy a call tomorrow. Why? So I can spend my whole life writing catchy jingles? So you can get some savings in your pocket. You know how hard your mother and I worked to get you through school? I want a professional career, but I want to do it my way. Make real music like mom did. I want to do that full time. You think mom worked herself to death for me just to give up on making real music? I think I knew your mother better than you did. She'd hate the fact that you wasted your education and our sacrifices to be out here making deliveries. Well, it beats selling out to do commercials like you. I'm going to pretend like I didn't even hear that. Hey, Chloe. You coming tonight? Maybe. I'll uh, party at my place. It's actually the address. Bring your friend. Hey, Josh, you coming, right? Yeah, man. Let's go! Hey, Sonny. Came. Yeah, I figured I'd see what you got. Dope. You should be up next. I'm always just people up from work. So, uh, did you find anything yet? Um, I've been working on my own stuff, you know? You could have just said no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, you should come over later. Some of us are uh, now, getting Now, up next, show. we have a true friend and a brother of mine. He's a paragon Ooh, with that's a me. pen. He's a wizard with the words, straight out of performing arts college. Xander Graham, let's get it, boy. All right, boy. All right, all right. Hey, everyone. I want to thank you all for being here, supporting me. Shout out to Buster. Buster. I remember seeing a night. That's right, that's my homie. For real. I got a poem for you tonight. Mm -hmm. It's a real hard hitter. I once ran from witches during the full moon, past thick forests and still bayous. No destination, just a way. Pure determination, so afraid. No longer safeguarded by church pews, no congregation, no crucifix. They stayed on my trail, sniffing out the parts of me that were thirsty until I gave in. I offered my body to be cleansed. I was baptized in the bog, dipped until the thick mud cleared my vision. My comfort zone was merely a prison. And from this came the decision to make freedom 
my religion. Tonight, I rejoice amongst the witches and sing enchanting tunes. I now stretch my limbs to the night sky and give thanks to that same full moon. Get it! <laughs> Sunny. All right, all right. Next up, we got a smooth criminal ready to steal your hearts. Sunny Martin. Bro, didn't you go to school for this? You graduated, right? I know you got bars. I'm not a, a freestyle kind of guy. Sunny Martin, come to the stage now. Rise and shine, baby. Yo, if you got bars from me, I'll shout out your mixtape on my story. Bro, if you're nice, I'll put your whole tape on Insta. All right. Uh, uh. There he is, Sonny Martin. Let's see how this goes. I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge. I feel like I've been running in this the final stretch. Can't see my destination to which I'm facing. In truth, I'm praying. In the end, I hope I make it. Cause in this nation, so-called home of the brave, you could give everything, but look how much it take. Excuse me, I'm thinking loosely and I'm into break. But this is my mind in one in 50 states. But like yeast, I rise on some beats. I slide too deep, free my mind to keep peace alive or illusion. Visualize your own conclusion. I'm distracted from the present reality that I'm losing. The shit I've been doing since my Duke's past. She used to sing me tunes, soul, blues, jazz, a hole in my heart like the arrow Cupid has. So tell me what I had to do with my stupid ass. Pursue music and follow her footsteps. I'm thinking she would bless, but right now, Sonny is stood pressed. My pops in my ear like job listens. I should check Then maybe I can make me a good check and get out the hood next. I keep the pedal turning as I stare. I keep making all these songs that these folks would never hear. I keep getting shitted on by my past and my peers. But guess what, motherfuckers? Look, I'm still here. So if a tree falls down and ain't no one to listen, do it make a sound? Your decision. I think I found my religion. It all depends if you come around to my vision. If a tree falls down and ain't no one to hear it, do it matter now? No one near it. Do it raise a brow in your spirit? Or is it just another metaphor for lyrics? Oh, hey, don't stop jamming on my account, kid. I'm just here taking in the vibe. Yeah, man, the song's kind of personal, so. Yeah, no, 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 I get it, I get it, no problem. Thing is, I uh, spend all day listening to bullshit down at <coughs> Double Time Records. You work at Double Time Records? You know it, kid. And it sounds like you got something real uh, fresh going on here. You got any reps? No, not yet, but uh... I'm out here every day. I mean, it's tough not making any money, but it's not about the money, you know? It's about the music. Yes, you know what they say, huh? Only real music is gonna last. Well, trust and believe, I, I got some hits. Hold on. Oh. People still burn CDs, huh? If I text you a SoundCloud link, would you have clicked it or ignored it? <laughs> touche, kid, touche. Look, so just pop that into your laptop and you won't be disappointed. That's some of that real music right there, Mr. Uh... Uh, Sorrento, kid, Barry Sorrento. And I'll do you one better. You got something to write with? Some of my uh, colleagues are coming by my house tomorrow night. If they heard some of that real music of yours, straight from the source, I'll make Thank it worth you. your while. Mr. Sorrento, you won't regret this. Be there at 7, ready to play. And uh, it's Barry, kid, huh? And don't mention it. Whatever you like. I am going back down to the cellar, and you better decide 
Because I'm going to board up that door, and I'm not going to unlock it again, no matter what happens. Now, wait a minute. Hey, Sonny, I just want to apologize for what I said earlier. Don't worry, it doesn't matter. I'm about to prove you wrong anyway. Oh, really? Yeah, we got an audition tomorrow. With Double Town Records. An audition with who? Barry Sorrento. He's worked at A&R for like 20 years. <laughs> I looked him up. Barry Sorrento. I remember that cat from back in the day. <laughs> he ain't all that. <clears throat> he ain't all that? Or I ain't all that? That's not what I said. But this could be my shot. To actually <clears throat> honor all those long nights you and mom worked, so I'm <clears throat> taking it. All I'm saying is that you need to be careful with him. <clears throat> with the industry <clears throat> on the whole. This is being careful. We <clears throat> both know we need the money. <clears throat> And if I can work this out, we don't have to worry about insurance, co-pays, or anything goes. You talk about sacrifice. This is how I'm honoring those sacrifices, Dad. Dad. Dad, hold on. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I got you. I got you. Hold on. Give me a second. Hold on, Dad. Hold on. Hello? Yes, yes, my name is Sonny Martin. Uh, my, my dad isn't breathing. Please, please send the help. Hold on, dad, please. starting to think that maybe you weren't going to make it. Oh, I won't miss this for the world, Mr. Sorrento. Believe me, I'm ready. Uh. <laughs> yeah, not exactly the outfit I would have chose, but uh, whatever's comfy, I guess, right? <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming by, kid. I really appreciate it. All right, I thought maybe you could set up here, maybe start off with something, you know, relaxing. Um, wait a minute, I'm confused. Yeah, well, I know there's not a lot of room to dance. I know you said you could dance, but uh, who knows? Maybe we'll move the couch after dinner. Dinner. Oh, you'll see. Oh, excuse me, could you get me another glass of Chardonnay? Oh, sorry, ma'am, I'm not a waiter. Thank I'm you. Barry's sister. I absolutely love Coltrane. Oh, 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 maybe that Charlie guy. He was pretty jazzy, right? Uh, Charlie Parker. Oh, oh, you would probably know better than me. I do know a little bit. But don't you want to hear my music? And who would you be? Here you go, ma'am. I didn't think you were going to be here tonight. Oh, yeah. Uh, Barry sometimes gets me to invite these little shindigs. I don't know if you knew this, but I worked a double time. As a waiter? I'm Barry's assistant. I didn't know that. Uh, Barry told me you were on call at night, and after hearing what you did Friday, I just had to be here. I, I even sent him a free stuff. Wait, on call? What do you mean? Oh, uh, well, what would you call it? <laughs> Hey there, kid. Now, how long do you think it's going to be before we can get started? We need the ambiance. Ambiance? What am I doing here? Well, you said times were tight, that you needed some extra cash. Thought I'd float you a couple of hundred for playing some smooth jams. And what about my audition? Audition? I never said anything about an audition. Uh, look, there's been a misunderstanding, all right? And why don't you just play a couple of tunes and then uh, stick around for the party, all right? Do some networking, huh? How about that? Sonny, I was trying to wait up for you. How'd it go? It was a buzz. They didn't even want to hear me play. You were right. I'm sorry, man. 
Let me hear it. You got the gift, son. There's no doubt about that. Thanks, Pop. Put my head up. <coughs> Good night, son. <coughs> I like where you're going with the song. After all, there's always a little bit of sadness with every ounce of hope. Just don't forget the hope. Finish the song. Dad. Dad. Hey, Sonny, it's Xander. This is crazy. <laughs> Have you checked out your Instagram? Nah, uh, what do you mean? Dude, Kyle posted a video of freestyle. It is blowing up. I'm sure your followers are going crazy. Did you ever finish that last song? Actually, I, I did.
Thank you.